In this video, I'm going to show you how I edit my top five video transitions right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So number one is the directional blur transition. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you've got two clips on your timeline. You first want to go into effects and we're going to search for directional blur. That is under blur and sharpen. You want to drag that onto your first video. Scroll all the way to the end of that first video and we'll change the blur length all the way up to around 150 and change the direction to 90. Now we'll create a brand new keyframe on blur length by pressing the stopwatch icon. We'll go to the left five keyframes, one, two, three, four, five, pull that down to zero. So as you can see, we blur in. Now we'll go to the first point of this second clip, drag directional blur onto this clip, change the direction to 90 as well. We'll increase the blur length to around 150, create a brand new keyframe, go to the right a few frames and we'll pull this down to zero. And when we play this back, we've got this really nice directional blur transitioning happening. So that is transition number one. Transition number two is the white flash transition. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we'll search for levels in effects. So levels, we'll drop that onto our first clip. We'll go all the way to the end of that first clip like we did in the previous transition. And in levels, we'll go down to white input level and we'll pull this all the way down to around 80%. Create a new keyframe on this setting. Then we'll go to the left by four frames. One, two, three, four. Pull this back up to 255. Then we'll drop levels on our second video. Pull the cursor back to the start of that second video. We'll pull the white input level up to around 80. Create a brand new keyframe. We'll go to the right a few frames. Pull this back up to 255. And when we play this back, you will see we have now got this really awesome white flash transition. It's really awesome and really dynamic. And that is one of my personal favorites. Transition number three is a popular YouTuber transition, and I love this one as well, and that is the Luma Fade. So inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we're going to search for Gradient Wipe, and there it is in Transition, or you can also find it in Wipe. But we'll drop Gradient Wipe onto our first video, and if we scroll all the way to the very end of this clip, we'll pull the transition completion all the way up to 100%. We'll create a brand new keyframe on transition completion by selecting the stopwatch icon. And then we'll come back to the left around 10 frames and we'll pull that back down to zero. So as you can see, we transition out. But the problem is we're transitioning into black. So we need the two clips to overlay. So we'll go to where that first keyframe is. We'll drag this first video onto video layer two. And we'll drag the second video to the cursor. Now, when we play this back, the two fade from one to another. And that is the Luma fade transition. It's a really dynamic way of transitioning from one clip to another. And like I said, it is a popular YouTuber's transition of choice. Transition number four is the dip to black. Now, this is a classic transition, but when you do this right in a music video, it can look really nice. So this is a dip to black. Scroll towards the end of the first clip and we'll pull the opacity down to 0%. Now we'll go to the left two frames, one, two, create a brand new keyframe on opacity by selecting this stopwatch icon at 0%. We'll go to the left 10 frames, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. pull that up to 100%. Now we'll go to the start of the second clip, pull the cursor all the way back to the start of that clip, pull the opacity down to zero. We'll go to the right two frames, create a brand new keyframe on opacity at zero, then we'll go to the right around 10 frames and we'll pull that up to 100%. Playing this back, we get this really nice, soft, dynamic dip to black. When you do this in a music video, this can look really effective. And then my last transition, my fifth favorite transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro is a sliding video transition. Let me show you. So we're gonna keep these two videos where they are and then we're gonna go into our project window. We'll create a new item. So we'll go new item, black video. Press OK on this and we'll drag the black video on top of those two clips. Now we'll just zoom into the point where the two clips connect. So the cursor is sitting right in between these two clips. We'll go to the left 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
we'll press C on the keyboard to load the razor tool, make a cut and delete the first part of the video. Now we'll go to that middle point again and we'll go to the right by another 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Press C again and that's going to load the razor tool, make a cut there and then delete the last part of that video. So now we've got this black video sitting in between these two clips. From here, we're just going to go to the very start of that black video and we'll pull the position all the way over to the left. Make sure this is completely off screen. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the position by selecting the stopwatch icon. We'll move all the way to the end of that, but we'll come back to the left one just so we can see what we're doing. We'll pull this all the way over to the right, completely off screen. And then we'll move that keyframe back over to the very end. And when we play this back, we've got this really nice sliding video effect happening. Of course though, you can tint this effect. It doesn't have to be a black video. You can add color onto this effect. So you can go into effects, search for tint, that is T-I-N-T, drop tint onto the black video. And in tint, you want to select matte black to select the black box and select a color of your choice. Press okay on this and then come out of that. And there you go. You've got this really nice, really basic sliding video transition. And there you go. Those are my top five video transitions inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. They're all really quick and really easy to do, and they can help to add a lot of character to your work. So feel free to have fun with those. And thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support, and I hopefully should see you on the next video. See you there.